Welcome to Ronin's Corner, and I'm going to be gent-like, and write a thank you note, and use my fountain pen with this lovely ink. And... No? Come on, let's go. Let's see now. No ink. Well, this thank you video will have to wait, and let's do a video on swapping the ink. This is my Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen, but the steps should be pretty similar across most pens. First, let's disassemble the pen and unscrew the base from the writing nib. My pen has a piston converter, which allows me to change from ink to ink. You might have something different. Let's separate the converter from the grip, and mine is just held together by pressure. These are the two separate parts that we'll be cleaning. Turn on the tap to a light stream and set it to cool. From here we're going to run the nib under the water. This will remove a lot of the ink, as we can see by the sink. Do this until the water is running pretty clean. Don't forget your converter as well. Next grab a cup and fill it with water. I chose a glass I don't use anymore just to be safe. Then let the nib rest at the cup for roughly an hour. This will help remove any dried up ink that is gathered in the writing pen. Here we can see even more ink has come out. Since I'm switching inks, I want to make sure no old ink is there. So dump the water and fill the cup again. If you're not switching colors of inks, this would probably be good enough. Now with the nib in the water and the use of the converter, I'm going to cycle the water through the system until it's clean. I'm turning the screw of the piston all the way full and then all the way empty until I'm happy with the results. We can even see there's still ink after the first few steps. From here I would let the nib dry for about 24 hours, tipped down in some paper towel. Alright, back to my thank you note. And let's get ready to ink! We need to put the nib into the ink, like we did with the water, and use the piston converter to suck the ink into the reservoir. I got a few bubbles, so I reversed, had my tip in a little deeper, and did another pull of the ink. I use that paper towel to clean off the excess. If the little gets on your hand, it comes with the territory, and washing your hands typically will clear it up. Now let's reassemble the pen. Close up my ink to make sure I don't make an even bigger mess. And back to my thank you note. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I wouldn't be at this milestone without all who have supported the channel. I will continue to get better at this and hopefully helping you along the way. If you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by on this occasion and maybe consider coming along on the journey. Till next time.